We have been living in the Iron Man 4x4 swag for the last 52 nights. There are five things we love and five things we hate about this swag. We have slept in a swag almost full time for the last two and a half years. We started out in the Southern Cross canvas swag, then we moved into the Ridge 4x4 swag, and this season we are testing out the Iron Man 4x4 double swag. Guys, this swag is not sponsored. Let's jump in to a full review. Let's talk about the bag. Our first swag didn't even come in a bag. Our second swag came in a PVC bag. And then this swag came in a canvas bag. And I thought, oh, good grief, that is going to get so wet. And it turns out I was actually wrong. The zipper on the PVC bag actually allowed the water to go into the bag and then there was nowhere for it to go and the swag would absorb that water from the rain. But the canvas bag gets wet but it doesn't retain and pull any water so the swag actually stays drier in a canvas bag over a PVC bag. I love it. Let's talk about the mattress, guys. Now, everyone says the thicker the mattress, the better the night's sleep. Now, I'm here to say for us, that is false. The Iron Man swag, guys, comes with a solid 70 mil mattress, which is just solid foam, and it's just so dense. What we prefer is the convoluted mattress, which kind of cushions you a bit better. It allows airflow, which actually gives you a cooler night's sleep. Now, the other really important thing with a mattress, which we really dislike with this, is the cover, guys. The cover is so important because of the condensation that's created within the swag. Now, the Iron Man swag just comes with a fabric cover, which this one is already torn after 52 nights. Now, it just creates heaps of condensation. Can you see that? Dry to wet. It's the same as our first swag that we had. Now, our second swag actually had a way better cover and it almost created an anti-condensation with how they created the cover. So, absolutely hate this mattress. I absolutely love these zippers on this Iron Man swag. They just go like the wind. Really easy, really smooth, absolutely love them. But we actually also hate the zipper. The actual zipper, when it's zipped up, has really large spacings. And then for some reason, both zipper ends, the fly is unzippable, which means instead of having eight zipper heads, we've now got 12 zipper heads flapping and clicking in the wind. It is so annoying on those windy nights, and I do not understand what the purpose is of those zipper ends, because, well, how do you use them, and what's the actual intention? I have no idea. Let's give it a test. Could you even imagine using this as a door? What the? Another thing that I absolutely love about this swag is the fact that it has double pockets, but not just two pockets, four pockets, double pockets at each end. And are you kidding me? Talk about organization. I love organization. I keep my socks in here and a head torch. And in this one, I keep my lip balm and some tissues. Guys, another thing we hate about this swag, but also experienced on our first swag, is the buckles on the compression strap when you roll up the swag. Now, normally you break this part here, which is replaceable, but we actually broke this part here, which means that I actually had to cut the strap off and it's useless now, so I had to go to Bunnings and buy a new strap. Guys, let us know in the comments, what swag are you using? What do you love about it? What do you hate about it? Are you guys in the Iron Man as well? Let us know in the comments. We just love the poles, and after our last swag having so much problems with the bloody poles, these ones get the tick of approval. They're all curved rather than having some straight and some curved, all curved, thank you. The clips are nice and easy to use, and the pole is actually the right diameter. Then the top pole across the top is also brilliant because it's an adjustable clip easy on and off pole. Yes, Iron Man, we love your poles. Guys, I absolutely hate, now I mean hate with a capital H, these Velcro tabs on the storm covers. Now, I kind of understand they wanted to put them there to hold the storm cover in place, but it's just not needed and it makes it extremely difficult when you're trying to unzip the canvas to get in or out of your swag because this Velcro tab is always stuck down. Mm. 
in Velcro. Ah, the canvas, which we also love. It's nice and lightweight, but yet it is really durable and thick enough that it's going to last. I can just feel it, trust me. I've slept in enough canvas to know. There's no pinholes which you can see through, which I never like that because, well, isn't that a leak point? And it's dark enough to give you a nice sleep in if you want one. Let's talk another hate, guys, leaking swags. No one wants a leaking swag. Unfortunately, they all leak. The problem with them is, as water hits this in the middle of the swag, it comes down. And as it drips off the bottom of this canvas to where the seam is between the bucket floor and the canvas, guys, it runs straight onto that. Now that is actually pressed in the middle against your mattress, which is just sucking the water straight through the stitching and into your mattress. It's almost like there's just water just sitting on that. Like it's, it's, it's saturated. Look at it. It doesn't matter how much you season your swag, it will always leak in this spot. We have a solution to fix this, guys, but we want to bring out our own swag, so we're not going to tell you what it is. Guys, another leak point on your swag is going to be all four external corners where your mattress is touching the stitching on the corner. As the water comes down in heavy rain events, it's just going to suck it in straight through the corner and you're going to have a wet bed. We know how to fix it and we did on our ridge and we can't fix it on this one, unfortunately. Maybe if we bring out that swag, we can fix both of these leaking issues. A 4S swag, a 4S swag, a 4S swag, a 4S. Our first thunderstorm for the season. Oh, it's crazy. We're testing out this new Iron Man swag, all right? Oh, here comes. Oh, every time I wait for a tree to hit me. We just laugh. Oh, fixing the awning. Shannon's getting saturated. Oh, this is not a good campsite in the rain. No, this is terrible. <laughs> Look at his footprint. Sink when I got out. Look. Shannon's drying himself with the singlet, and he's gonna have to clean his feet. Lucky she's only 450 from bloody Kmart, eh? Our pool rolls. We were forecast for 0 to 6 mils of rain, but we ended up with 40 mils of rain, considering the swag held up pretty good. This swag cost us $520 with delivery, even though we picked it up. Yes, there was a delivery charge, even though we picked it up. Now, would we buy it again? And will this swag last? You guys are gonna to have to wait until we finish out the season in this swag, which is a total of seven months. So we've still got another five months. It's gonna be super interesting to see whether this bad boy does survive the trip or not. And we'll see you next week. Bye guys.